All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not even going to laugh today. I haven't laughed one time today since I've woke up. Not even in a good mood. I haven't even had a coffee. But if I do laugh, I'm going to give one of you guys in the comments below $100. That's how confident I am. All you got to do down below is comment plant. But if I do laugh, does that make sense? Anyway, you got to go follow the Twitch. It's pinned down below. Click the link. Follow. I'm live right now. Come over to Twitch. I'm going to gift you a sub. Hopefully not too many of you come over because I'm broke. But anyway, come over and just come over. Just follow. I right, play. Hey, y'all. Okay, we got us a few new friends here joining us tonight. So let's all say us a big hello to Peter and Brian. Hello, Peter and Brian. Hi there. Oh, hi, uniform mentality. I'm an individual. Now, come on, Brian. They're forcing us to do this, so let's try and make the best of it. Can't be that bad. All right, who'd like to kick us off? I will. Hi, my name is Walt, and I'm an alcoholic. Hi, Walt. Hi, Walt. I used to be out of control. Yeah. I used to drink from the moment I woke up till the moment I went to bed. Good days. I'd get in fights and have crazy sex with hookers all night. But thanks to the program, I've been clean for a year. Now I live in a halfway house with my lady friend. And next month, we're going on a bus trip to Worcester. What the fuck? <laughs> Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> no way that counts. There's fucking no way that counts. I wasn't even laughing, bro. I f just see a fly flew into my mouth, bro. <laughs> you a frame for that birthday dollar I gave you. I'm Meg. Birthday dollar! What a disrespectful yeah, flippin'. turd. You brought a frame? Why would I frame a dollar? Chris, didn't you take a look at that dollar? It's an extremely rare misprint. Benjamin Franklin and Washington are both on the front, posing back to back like an 80s sitcom. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool, ain't gonna lie. Sorry, Grandpa, I lost that dollar. You what? We gotta find that thing! Where you going? I get the last joke before the commercial? <gasps> wow, this is a first. Make okay, it your moment. Okay. A priest, a rabbi, and a Frenchman walk into a bar. Family Guy will return after these messages. Last line. No, it isn't. What are we listening to? I feel this song is going to get me demonetized. I love... The hell? Wait, I I'm not... I, I don't I don't watch Modern Family. Sorry. Hey, Chris, wait here. I'm going to see what's going on. Hey, Muscles, what's taking so long? I'm sorry, sir. This may shock you, but it turns out the seasonal Santa we hired has a drinking problem, and I don't know where to find a replacement on such short notice. Hey, you're a hefty guy. I called you Muscles. Would you mind putting on the suit and playing Santa just until the shift ends? I'd pay you for your time. All right, fine. I mean, it's not the first time I pretended to be someone else. I once dressed as a farmer to get a date on FarmersOnly.com. Are you Peter? Yeah. Uh, are you the gross lady who lives in the converted horse trailer? You don't have to be lonely at FarmersOnly.com. It doesn't say whites only, but yeah. <laughs> Hey, listen, on a scale of what? 1 to 10, how bad is the bathroom situation up here? Like, 10 is a suite at the Four Seasons, and 1 is a tied-up raincoat sleeve at a party in your honor. Yes, we're here, Ross. When our family says that we're gonna do something, we follow through with it. Yeah, in fact, not only are we gonna climb it, I always we're gonna beat through. you guys to the top. <laughs> I seriously doubt that. Oh, yeah? Well, so do I! Yeah, so you watch it, Fishman. We are gonna beat you so bad, you'll think you gave Chris Brown an STD. Is that what happened? You're not going to beat us to the top. In fact, you probably won't even climb Everest at all. You don't have the nerve. Like hell I the don't. Nerve. Getting to the top ahead of you is going to be one of the greatest moments of my life. Might even beat graduating from chiropractic school. That's more of a compliment to the guy he's actually trying to talk to. No? Isn't that a compliment? He's just given more than a, an insult. Robert Baker. Brad O'Bannon. Uh -huh. Anyone. <laughs> Why is no one clapping? Yeah, Cleveland, I gotta say, it's great having the old gang back together again. Mm -hmm. Well, it's great being back. To Cleveland. To Cleveland. To Cleveland. To me. 
Nice. Well, not a single person stopped watching because you left. He doesn't have the guts to say anything back. Why did the why did they turn on? Why would you turn on Cleveland like that, brother? The fuck? Hi, Joe's dad. I, I mean, uh, dad. Yep, Joe, I'm Joe. You're my dad. Joe? Wow, I guess it really has been a long time. I barely recognize you. Put on a little weight, haven't you? Well, I could say the same for you. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I don't understand why people laugh. Hey, what do you say we grab some dinner, and I'll spend a lot of time telling you a nonsense story where the date is really important for some reason. So I'm there with Mark. It must have been May 5th, 1959. <laughs> no, no, it wasn't May. I, I wasn't here then. Yo, was why is that so true, though? That is so fucking true. You've been literally talking to somebody, and you, I don't know why you just whip out the date. <laughs> Oh, that's so true. Oh, it could have been during the time we took a break. I've fucking, no, no, by the way, I, I have. What am I doing? Am I even trying? I'm fucking off all this, bro. Had I met Ron yet? I was driving the Chrysler then. I know that. Could have been July. Pick a date. Any date. I will believe you. September. Jeez, <laughs> 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 September. <laughs> My guy changed Boy, this feels made really weird, I know. But maybe the doctor's right. This time apart could be good for us. Yeah, I don't know, Lois. Splitting up didn't work too well for Pac-Man and his wife. Hey, come on, buddy. Forget about her. Yeah, you're too good for her anyway. Yeah, cheer up, man. Hey, hey. He's going to eat you. Eat you. Oh, 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 we're turning blue. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. oh, oh you teasing bastards. He's going to get us. Get us. Oh, uh, oh. No, he's not budging. Come on, let's go to Cubert's. Is he dead? Oh. I really appreciate you putting me up, Cleveland. Our house is your house, Peter. I'd sit here and chat with you, but I need to get back upstairs to Loretta because of <laughs> What kind of birdhouse can you build with popsicles, roofies, and a mallet? It's all... Yo, I don't know what it is about out of context moments where the sometimes the clips just end before the actual punchline comes, so that's up literally up to you to just speculate and perceive what you want to think's coming. So in your head, you're, it's going to be funny because in your head, you're going to think of something funny and you're going to fucking laugh. A rare African bird called none your business. Okay. Okay. Hi, Meg. Can I help you? Hands in the air, Goldman. Oh, my God. What are you doing? Give me your money. Here, here. Just take this jar for the leukemia kids. I don't give it to them anyhow. Meg, put down the gun. Brian, <laughs> get back in the car. Look, don't do this. This isn't you, Meg. What happened to the girl we used to know? The one that Luke fell in love with? The one he's expecting to see when he steps out of that prison in 40 years? I don't care about Luke. I don't need him. I don't need anyone. Look, if you don't put the gun down, I'm going to be forced to call the police. Fear makes memories that will last until you black out. And when you forget, there are no regrets. Fear is courage. The courage to moon people from a not moving car. <laughs> Fear helps you achieve new heights atop the shoulders of unwilling strangers in a chicken fight. Fear makes you grab the brass ring or a taser of a casino security guy. But if you won't listen to me, listen to Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh. I liked beer. Still like beer. Beer is great because life is hard. Don't make it harder with seltzer. Beer never oh makes God. me hard. You're cheering me. No, we just saw a picture of Bon Jovi on the wall behind you. But you still won us over. Pawtucket Patriot Ale will stay the choice of New Jersey alcoholics. Oh, that is bull... Peter, I, I know it's a dangerous precedent, but you uh, you might want to just tell Lois the truth. What, that I can't provide for my family? That, that she's always right? That I didn't really stand up to that tank in Tiananmen Square? Huh, screw this. I just came over to buy some fireworks. Peter, you can't keep lying to her about losing your job. Sooner or later, she's going to find out where you're really going every day. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Okay, I I'll mean, if Lewis tonight. doesn't see you there, there's something wrong with her, brother. Uh-huh. Ah, oh, damn! The whole family was so alarmed that no one noticed Alana at the piano practicing Lois's part of the theme song. It seems today that all you see is violence in movies and, and sex, sex on, on TV. TV. 
on which we used to rely. 2,000 likes in this video, and I will literally sing the entire Family Guy song. 2,000 likes, and I will sing and learn the entire Family Guy song and sing it for a video. Is this related to the virtual stranger I let take over my life and family this past week? Please! Shut up! We're taking you to die. Well, are we there yet? No! Are we there yet? No! God! Just give her the iPad. No stopping now. Panama? Yeah! And now, senor, you must pee. What? Pee. You must pee. Fill the canal. All right, it's going to take a minute. It's a blue at him, brother. Of course. It's good, right? It's very good. Okay, I'm going to try pulling my pants all the way down. Sometimes that helps. Please don't. Okay. Wasn't a true story, right? What? Coco. No, it was fiction. Somebody make it up out of their head. <laughs> God, that's too bad. Man, I can't go. Can't we just fill this up with a hose? Oh, yeah. Turn on the hose. What the Nothing. hell did you think was going to come out of his you think knob? You help me. I just can't stand Peter and Chris being at each other's throats anymore. Of course, Lois. I'm sure if we can just get them in the same room together, I can convince them to talk it out. Mm -hmm. Why don't you invite Peter to lunch, and I'll invite Chris, and we'll see what we can do. Ah, oh, thank you. I really appreciate it. Okay. What the hell are you doing here? I thought I was meeting Lois. She wanted me to talk to you guys about the way you've been behaving. Look, Monkey, Chris is being a jerk, all right? And there is nothing you can say that will make me change my mind about that. Peter, you're acting bananas. <laughs> all right, I'll listen. You're both good guys, and that's why it's important for you to reconcile your differences. I wasn't able to do that, and that's why I wound up living in a closet for... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry you lost your rich friends, Stewie. What the hell, no, bro? All right. I don't need money. I already have everything I need. What's that? Excuse me, is one of you Chadley? You left your wallet inside. Chadley? Chica -chica. Who well, the that hell calls somebody makes me Chadley? Think you're not Chadley. Oh no, I chicka chicka too early. Jesus! It's gonna be a fake name, bro. Hey, Lois, you mind if I cut out of here? Not at all. Thanks. Not to be too intimate, but I need to have a bowel movement and I can't go here. I can only go at home or at the Kookaroo. Still killing people. She is. <laughs> Hey, Chris Brown, I just wanted to say I'm a huge fan of your music. Mm -hmm. This is just going to make me listen more. Oh, hey, Ray Rice, would you mind pressing lobby? What do you got, potatoes in your ears? I said press lobby. <laughs> now, Peter, one of the perks of being a woman is that you get to go out and have a white wine squeak fart lunch with your friends. Did you hear Diane's hub and left her? Yeah, you could tell from the wedding they were not going to last. Oh, it's a shame. And they have to kids. What the fuck is going on? Marriage is hard. Okay, Pete. Those machines in the ladies' room don't vend pants, do they? Don't let them take my... That actually reminds me, I actually really need to go for a shift. <laughs> don't forget to follow the switch.